legendary yes. Shania Twain <laughs> onto the show. Shania, I don't want to make this uncomfortable, but I, <laughs> like many, I'm obsessed with you. So thank you for taking the time to join the show. Congratulations on the album. All the way from Switzerland, we appreciate you joining us. Oh, thanks for having me. Yeah, this is great. We're Love excited it. to have you. It's a great song, Giddy Up, to yeah. kind of get us going. We're on the home stretch of the season here in the NHL, getting geared up for the playoffs. But let's start with this album. What are you most excited about for this album, Queen of Me? The the thing I'm most excited about is sharing the the smiles, the laughs, the the dance, um, just cheering people up. Yeah, well, hey, listen, people need to be cheered up these <laughs> days, that's for sure. Uh, what do you think when you see, like, we just ran this clip with your song underneath all these hockey highlights, and it made for a really good clip. What do you think when you see your music alongside, uh, you know, all these kind of crazy hockey plays? Oh, well... I mean, it gets my adrenaline going. First of all, I, just watching the hockey clips and and the music is just all about get up and do your thing, you know. Just uh, and put some up in your giddy, you know. You gotta, you gotta, <laughs> gotta put that pep in your step and and get to it. Well, we were sitting here bopping along. Yeah. Watch it. We hadn't seen we hadn't seen the hype video put yeah. together yet. So we're sitting here bopping along to it. That's one song of many on this album. Does that kind of set the tone for the album? Is there a lot of sort of up tempo songs on this album? And if not, what 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 is the tone of the album? Well, the tone of the album is certainly upbeat. It's uh, I wrote the album during COVID with the intention of cheering myself up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I was in there with a guitar, just uh, writing lyrics that picked up my spirit and uh, using the songwriting to just get me in a more uh, positive headspace during that time. And it ended up being what I'm calling my happy album. You know, it's, it's very uplifting and I'm just really excited to share it and hopefully inspire, you know, that. Whoa, my dog, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of your dog? We love dogs we love on dogs. this show. This actually happens dogs. all the time when we interview yeah. hockey players. So His name is Sapphire. I should just she just wants to be picked up. I don't know. You can pick up Sapphire if she you want to be pick a part her up. Be part of it. <laughs> Sapphire now, anyways. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to cheer people up and. Uh, you know, up in your giddy. The whole idea behind that one was, you know, me talking to myself saying, okay, you've got to put some pep in your step. You've got to put some like spice back in your life. You've got to get that energy going, that positive energy going. So I said, oh no, okay, giddy. When's the last time I've been giddy and laughed and really, you know, so <laughs> Yeah. I think you're capturing a moment, too, because with what we've all gone through with the pandemic, I think you're absolutely right. I mean, people need to kind of get going as best they can again and kind of try to resume their lives as best yeah. they can. So often with uh, with artists, you try to be, find inspiration from the moment. It seems like that's the case here. I just saw you at the uh, at the Grammys. I guess it was like last month, maybe. And uh you're a five-time Grammy winner. What's that experience like, getting dressed up and going to a big event like that? I mean, they, they never ask me to go. <laughs> so I just want to know what it's like for you. I love uh, an excuse to dress up. I mean, I, I love an excuse to dress down, too. Like, if you if you saw me in my uh, nesting homebody environment, I would not make it on the cover of any fashion magazine. But... Um, <laughs> Uh, you know, but when there's an excuse to dress up and just get into the pageantry and enjoy the fashion and see other artists, celebrate other artists and um, get into the spirit of just being among your peers. It's really fun. It's good. Yeah. It's a lot of good fun. Well, there's yeah. only a couple times during the hockey season where we get to see the athletes or and us ourselves yeah. kind of experience a red carpet situation. All-Star yeah. Weekend and the NHL Awards. And next year's All-Star Weekend is in Toronto. Yeah. And as an Ontario girl, I'm going to just fantasy book here and pretend <laughs> that I have the power to book Shania Twain yeah. to perform at All-Star Weekend. If you were going to perform, what's one song off this album and one song off any of your other albums that you'd be like, okay, these are the bangers. These are the ones that I got to perform in front of all the hockey fans at All-Star Weekend in Toronto. Oh, definitely. Um, definitely Giddy Up. 
Okay. And Naturally. Yeah. And waking up dreaming because it's just all about the sky's the limit. I love that. All, all things are possible. And, you know, uh, and, and go for it. It's a go for it song. Yeah, I love that. Because yeah. it is like All Star Weekend is like one of those feel good weekends. The pressure's yes. off, everyone's having fun. Yep. It's perfect. Yeah, I, I would agree wholeheartedly. You know, with events like that, have you, Shania, have you, I would imagine you have, but maybe you haven't. Have you ever done like the national anthem at a, at a hockey game or a sporting events? And if you have, is that a little nerve wracking? It is nerve wracking. I have done it. It's kind of scary because, um, and I always admire, like, I'm, I always stop everything I'm doing to watch the performer do the national anthem because I'm just feeling for them and I want them to do <laughs> well. I understand the pressure, you know? So I'm there, like, cheering on from the inside. And I'm always just so, you know, and I admire anyone that can get up there and do it. So, uh, yeah, I've done it at a few different sporting events, and it's always scary, but, you know, it's a proud moment, too. It's yeah. Yeah, of yeah. course. Um, I'm going to ask you another another song pick question. You know, we have guys, teams have goal songs, but so, in some cases, players have certain goal songs. If Shania Twain were to have a song play every time she scored a goal, <laughs> what song would it be for you? Any song. doesn't have to be your own song, just any song. Like, what's the song where, that makes you just feel like, F yeah, I just scored a goal? <laughs> I mean, it would have to be like, let's go. You know, I yeah. know, I know it's my own little saying, but I just think it's, yeah, let's go. Something with guitar, right? <laughs> A rock guitar song does it every time, yeah. Should ACDC. I, oh, sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. I'm sorry to interrupt you there. Yeah, I, I love rock. Mm -hmm. I love like the punchy rock stuff at games when there's a goal. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, let's say listen, that's, that's a winner. Yeah, I that's think so. Yeah. Let me let me ask you this. So you grew up in in obviously in Ontario. There, you moved around a little bit. You were, grew up. I guess you were born in the Windsor area. You moved up towards Timmins. Did you have? I mean, I know you had a favorite team. You, you you're not like you're a kind of a more of a casual hockey fan. But did you have a favorite player as a young girl growing up? Well, listen. Um, my family was. There was nothing casual about hockey in our in our house growing up. It was, <laughs> first of all, so my my um, so we only had a black and white TV when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. My uncle had the color TV, so we would all try to go over to my uncle's house to watch a hockey game on you know the the big night you know hockey night in Canada night. That's our big night, right? Yeah. Hockey night in Canada. Um, Bobby Orr was always the, the family hero. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, um, I watched Wayne Gretzky grow into his, um, you know, legendary status during my generation. So, um, he would have been my, you know, hockey hero of, in my teens and, and my young, um, you know, sort of, I guess, Hockey crush. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and I remember when I first met him, it was like I was I was starstruck meeting Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, well, he's the great one, right? Yeah. He is yeah. 99. He's the GOAT, as they say, yeah. um, in NHL history. But uh, those are a couple good ones there. Yeah. Bobby Orr, Wayne Gretzky. Um, I understand that you have grown into becoming a bit of a Vegas Golden Knights fan. Um, how did that happen? I mean, I know you were out in Vegas um, doing your thing. I assume that's when it happened. But kind of what drew you uh, to that team? Well, okay, so growing up, Okay, it was always in my family, you know, split sort of uh, um, loyalties. We had Maple Leafs that was like die hard um, till the day you die. You have to be a Leafs fan. And then the other half of my family were the Montreal Canadiens, right? Wow. <laughs> so that was there was a lot of tension in the house. Yeah. And but now that I spend so much time in Vegas, I mean the Golden Knights. It's it's kind of part of my Vegas lifestyle now to go to Golden Knights games. And I mean, they're doing good right now. They're first in their division. Um, and uh, I'm just loving the games there. They're, the crowds are great. They're, and I mean, there's 
I think 22 of the 28 players are Canadian. There you go. I didn't even know that. Just bring in the heat, uh, Shania, to the show. <laughs> so what I mean, how could I not? So, so I have to know these things because I'm I'm there and I'm thinking, you know. So I have some of the players come to the game and um, you know, sorry, come to come to my uh, my show. Yeah. And there's so there's so many Canadians, the whole Canadian culture there in Vegas. Um, I'm part of it, you know. So uh, of the of the Canadian crew over there in Las Vegas. So I'm really. Um, excited to have my like canadian uh small town canadian hockey players because i mean so many hockey we have all these small town rinks that a lot of these players come from and and they're um little towns that most people have never heard of i've heard of them of course as a, as a, <laughs> so it's a lot of fun anyway and um so i'm enjoying it i'm enjoying the hockey i think more live hockey now than i did when i was younger i mean when i was younger i lived way too far from an nhl mm -hmm uh you know venue to, to ever see the nhl live so i'm seeing it more now in vegas than i ever did before and i and i'm really enjoying it yeah. and it's a great atmosphere out in vegas yeah. too a uh, friend of the show daniel negranu another famous canadian that grew up a leafs fan is now a vegas golden knights fan i have to follow up if toronto and vegas were to meet in a cup final scenario what does shania do do you do the split jersey do you do you just root for vegas what what do you think you do in that circumstance shania this is a really tough one because I think I think I would choose I would cheer for the, my favorite players mm. in that scenario. Smart. Um, it's hard, but listen, if I'm in the hometown, uh, yeah, I would probably I would probably cheer for Vegas, the Golden Knights. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's fair. One. Yeah, go with, the home, go with the go home with team. Go with the home team. It's always the, the way team. to go. <laughs> the home team. Yeah, the home team, you know. Um, but it is hard, you know, these childhood things. <laughs> Should I have one more for <laughs> Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I keep cutting you off. I, I just had one more for you with, you know, with a lot of hockey players, they become, they, they know early in their lives that they have a gift for what they do. Um, you know, you started singing from, by all accounts, at a very young age. You were singing publicly, from what I understand, as young as eight. Like, did you know very young in your life that, hey, I have a gift for this? My mother knew. Mm -hmm. um, I was probably too young to realize what it i didn't know what a career was for example you know i mean i knew i loved to sing um and my mother recognized something beyond my own like love for it um and like 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 hockey parents she was like a typical hockey parent you know she was uh getting me out there to sing whenever you know any stage that she could find and was just um pushing me to to pursue it as a career because she understood that or believed that I really had something so um, I'm thankful to her but at the same time I didn't really love singing in um bars when I was eight years old <laughs> it's a little bit different than in hockey it's not exactly a family environment well, listen, it all worked out uh, yes. splendidly yes. for you and for us because uh, yeah. you have graced us for many years with your talents. And uh, we really appreciate you hopping on the show with us today. Um, have a great tour. Congratulations on the album. And thank you again so much, Shania. Thank you, guys. Thank you.